I've got to tell you that it's not easy getting by these days. Follow me for the next few minutes and I'll tell you. Ah, uh, um, hello? Hey, buddy. Not the flea bag. I'm down here. Freddy the Frog's my name. Let me tell you why life's so tough for frogs like me, as well as other critters in the water. And I'll share with you some things you can do to help keep the environment healthy and happy for everyone. We're sensitive to even the smallest changes in habitat. That's why some scientists call frogs a bio-indicator, meaning that by watching us, they can tell how clean and safe the environment is. It's bad. In many places, we're in trouble. The frog population is decreasing, and many are born with deformities. Researchers believe it's because of unwelcome changes in our habitat. Ah, it's starting to rain. I usually love the water, but not during and after a storm. There are things that some humans do to our waterways that make me hopping mad. Every time it rains, we have to take cover. Water flowing into our lakes, rivers, and streams is loaded with pollution. Humans call it stormwater runoff. I call it a mess. And it's one of the main sources of water pollution these days. So I'm guessing that about now, you're asking yourself, what is stormwater, aren't you? I thought so. Often, when it rains, there's too much water to just soak into the ground. In the neighborhood, it could mean that extra water flowing from our yards and parks to nearby lakes, creeks, or rivers. In the city, there's just too much pavement, and the rain flows down sidewalks, streets, and parking lots. All of this extra water has to be moved along by specially built stormwater drains. And remember, all of the water that flows through it ends up where I live. And believe me, it can be gross. It's not just natural rainwater. Stormwater runoff can be filled with all sorts of nasty things. Do you think our streets are clean? When water flows down the street, it collects oil, gas, and trash. What about our yards? Are they clean? Does your family use pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers? If so, when it rains, or when you water your yard, these chemicals flow with the water down the street to a storm drain. Even dirt, leaves, and lawn clippings that flow into the storm drain can make our life miserable. When they decompose in water, they use up valuable oxygen that fish need to survive. And of course, there's the dog dew too. It can get into storm drains as well. How would you like to take a bath with dog poop? I do not. So do the right thing. Please pick up after your dog. It's one of the things you can do to make my home and your world healthier for everyone. But don't stop there. Here are more ways you can help. Pick up dead leaves and excess grass clippings. Never leave them on the street, sidewalk, or driveway. Put them back in your yard for nutrients. Or even better, learn how to start a compost pile. Using compost improves your yard or garden soil and requires less water. Read the instructions carefully when using lawn chemicals and use only what you need. When you use too much, those chemicals can end up in storm water as well. What about your vehicles? Do they cause any pollution? Any leak on the pavement can cause toxic chemicals to go into our waterways. So make sure you fix any leaks and clean up your driveway with a proper absorbent. The Stormwater Quiz is brought to you by Our Good Bugs. Quit using polluting pesticide and let our good bugs such as ladybugs and praying mantis knock out other bugs. They are nature's answer to controlling pests. Hi there, I'm Al Croker, and it's time to play Stormwater Quiz. First question, which of the following can you safely pour into the storm drain? Is it A, motor oil, B, chemicals, or C, none of the above? If you guess C, you're absolutely right. Remember, absolutely nothing is supposed to go into the storm drain except rainwater. Next question. True or false? It's perfectly okay to blow your leaves and grass clippings onto the street. A. True. B. False. If you guessed true, you're absolutely wrong. When yard waste decomposes in the water, it can use up oxygen needed by frogs and other aquatic life. Question three, where should you wash your automobile? A, your driveway, B, the street, 
C. Commercial Car Wash. If you guess C, you're correct. When you wash your vehicle at home, all of those chemicals, dirt, and oil go down the street to a storm drain. Remember, only rain should go down the storm drain. Thank you for playing our storm water quiz. I'm Al Kroger. I hope you were able to learn something about storm water runoff today and why it can be such a bad thing. It's a major source of water pollution and can endanger us frogs and other water creatures. Remember that there's things your family can do to help, like not dumping anything into the storm drains, picking up trash, by not applying any chemicals before it rains, or use natural alternatives to chemicals. Cleaning up doggy doo, that's something that you can do too. Please take what you learned today and share it with everyone you know. Tell them why it is so important to follow these simple steps. And if everyone does their part, it will go a long way to reduce water pollution mm. and make our planet a much better place to live. Mm.